good afternoon friends and welcome again in previous session we have seen plastic analysis of a simply supported beam subjected to eccentric point load and special case when this load becomes central point load okay today we shall keep different boundary conditions and different load position today we shall see a beam whose one end is fixed and another end is roller support okay so this is the beam we shall keep load at the center and for this beam we have to find OLX load using plastic analysis okay so this is a central point load so if span is L obviously distance of load from W is L by 2 okay so using beam mechanism we will proceed for the solution just like yesterday so we shall first of all draw this beam mechanism we will show locations of plastic hinge and then plastic movements so whether there will be any movement on roller support no movement on roller support is zero whether this is elastic movement or plastic movement then another movement will be under the point load w we shall say this is point c so one movement is under point c another movement is at fixed end so these are the two locations where there will be plastic hinge okay so show these two locations one is here and another is here which is the displaced location of c let us say it is c dash okay and now we will join these three points to each other okay so this is our deformation under the point load now since load is symmetric this hinge and this support will undergo same rotation now you might ask when this is fixed end how come there is rotation here since plastic hinge has formed what was the definition for plastic hinge it will undergo rotation okay so since this is a plastic hinge it undergoes rotation we shall say this is theta as the rotation same amount of rotation will be on support beam why because central load condition central load so compared to previous case of eccentric point load this becomes easy so instead of considering both the triangles separately we can consider any one triangle to find out delta in terms of theta okay so this is l by 2 this is also l by 2 so we will draw this right angled triangle with one side as l by 2 and the shorter side as delta this is theta so from geometry theta is equal to delta divided by l by 2 so what will be delta theta into l upon 2 now show plastic moments where are plastic hinges two locations one is at a the other is at c dash so here is one plastic moment mp again from geometry this angle is theta this is also theta so this is one mp this is one mp we need not show mp here because support condition what is support condition roller support so at roller support there is no plastic hinge and also this is end support so now virtual work energy principle 
that is external work done is equal to internal work done so what is internal work done internal work done is equal to 1 mp theta plus this one mp theta and this remaining mp theta one more thing you will say these two moments you have shown anti clockwise this one you have shown clockwise still you are considering all as positive why remember this is work done so work done is never negative so anti clockwise moment into rotation anti clockwise moment into rotation see what is the sense of rotation here yes this rotation is like this here rotation is like this it means here rotation is clockwise here clockwise here anti clockwise so anti clockwise moment into clockwise rotation positive anti clockwise rotation uh, anti clockwise moment into clockwise rotation positive clockwise rotation into anti clockwise sorry clockwise moment into anti clockwise rotation this will also be positive okay so this is nothing but product product of two uh, terms which are either opposite in nature so all these are opposite in nature mp and theta sense of rotation mp anti clockwise theta clockwise hence positive so this is opposite nature mp into theta the second one again anti clockwise moment clockwise rotation okay clockwise rotation here moment is clockwise but rotation is anti clockwise so again opposite nature so third term is also positive so work done is never negative it is always positive clear so internal work done is three times mp theta now external work done this is simple what is external work done external load w into deformation delta what is delta theta l by 2 so w times theta l upon 2 so equate now external work done and internal work done this will give us w theta l upon 2 it is equal to 3 mp theta so we want w from this what will be w you bring 2 on right hand side so 2 into 3 becomes 6 into mp upon l this theta gets cancelled so 2 into 3 6 mp l comes to the denominator 6 mp upon l simple okay next problem we shall find plastic analysis for a fixed beam subjected to uniformly distributed load okay so let us draw a fixed beam subjected to uniformly distributed load okay ab is the beam both ends are fixed l is the span of the beam and it is subjected to uniformly distributed load so again procedure is same we will first of all form or draw the deformed shape 
of the beam it is same as that of beam subjected to point load so this deformation will be maximum delta will be maximum under or at the center of the beam mid span so again since loading and geometry of the beam is symmetric plastic hinges will form at a b and this c dash okay and rotations will be equal similar to previous case now how many locations will be there of plastic hinges in previous case fixed end was one plastic hinge location here is another fixed end so this is second location third location is point of maximum bending moment so how many plastic moments will be there one is here second is here third is here and fourth is here so there are four plastic moments in this beam okay so again you take out this right angled triangle for simplicity it will be easy when you will carry out plastic analysis so this side is l by 2 this is delta rotation is theta so theta is equal to delta divided by l by 2 so delta is theta into l upon 2 okay so again internal work done now this is easy how many plastic hinge points 4 3 1 2 3 so this is 1 mp theta second this 1 mp into theta third this is 1 mp into theta fourth and final one is at b mp into theta so in all internal work done is 4 mp theta external work done this is somewhat different from point load because this is udl load is acting at each point so deformation at each point needs to be considered so in this case what you do is instead of point load here will be intensity of loading okay <clears throat> or load simply multiplied by See how much is the area under the load. Area under the load. Okay. This is only the change you need to follow. So how much is load intensity? Small w multiplied by how much is the area under this complete UDL? This total triangle. So how much is this area? half base how much is the base l into height how, how much is the height delta so substitute whatever delta value is there so w into 1 by 2 into l into theta l upon 2 okay so how much is external work done external work then is equal to w l into l l into l l square then this theta upon 4 now equate this to internal work done so external work done is equal to internal work done so w l square theta 
अपॉन फोर इज इक्वल टू फोर एम पी थीटा दिस इज सो सिंपल नाउ थीटा गेट्स कैंसल्ड फोर वोट्स टू द न्यू मेरेटर एल स्क्वेर कम्स टू द डिनोमिनेटर सो डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन एम पी अपॉन एल स्क्वेर करेक्ट ओके थैंक यू